The list of star athletes vying to become flag bearer for India seems to be getting longer by each passing event. This time too, the Indian Olympic Association had several names after the first choice, Neeraj Chopra, retired hurt. Finally, while shuffling from the list of three, IOA zeroed in on PV Sindhu, who marched with the Indian tricolor in Birmingham last night where Commonwealth Games will be held. India, with a contingent of 215 athletes across 16 disciplines, will look to better its performance from the last edition of CWG. Over the past decade or so, India has been continuously improving its medal tally. In a nation where cricket has overshadowed all other games and is considered a religion, snatching attention for any other stream of sports was very difficult, but not impossible. A wind of change which started to blow at the turn of the 21st century swept across most sports disciplines. Most categories like boxing, wrestling, archery, hockey, etc. have given us international stars. India bettered its best ever performances consistently in the last three out of four Olympic events, with the highest ever medal tally of seven at Tokyo Games. If we take the Commonwealth Games as a host nation in 2010, India broke its previous records with 101 medals, standing only behind sporting giant Australia in rankings. The showing was not a blip and was sustained with 66 medals, the second best performance in Gold Coast 2018 CWG Games. At Asian Games, India has always been a powerhouse and continues to remain so. And why did it happen? Due to a little push from the government. India's improved sporting success can partly be attributed to the Sports Authority of India's schemes. Under it, promising athletes are being provided with specialized training, state-of-the-art infrastructure and playing facilities, and individualized diet prescribed by trained nutritionists. Currently, 6,586 boys and 2,639 girls are training in 189 various centres of the country. The government's target Olympic podium scheme, or TOPS, along with the Mission Olympic cell, was also useful in a big way, where selected athletes get specialised training aligned with individual goals and financial assistance. TOPS athletes PV Sindhu and Sakshi Malik won medals at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Some of the key federations have also definitely become much more professional uh, compared to, uh, uh, say, a decade back or, or before. So just access to uh, the right facilities has improved a lot over the last decade. Uh, and this is holds the same. I'm just giving an example of hockey, but this would hold the same for all sports. So the quality of people, the quality of decision makers, the quality of the bureaucrats is uh, is top class. And uh, for me, they are bringing about a lot of very positive change, not just in professionalism, but in also mindsets uh, towards sport. Olympic sport, uh, all other sports have, have to get much more sustained funding to really, uh, 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 to really make it, maybe not on par with cricket, but but get sports up to a much higher uh, level of stature as well as eyeballs. Both the government and private sector made a conscious effort to bring in world-class coaches, sports doctors, and trainers from foreign countries. Over the years, this has made a big difference in performances. Neeraj Chopra, P.V. Sindhu, Lavlina Borgohen and Mirabai Chanu, all of who won medals at Olympics, were helped by multiple expert foreign coaches and support staff. Some experts say that the Indian contingent's excellent show at 2010 Commonwealth Games was the turning point for Indian sport, after which players started getting recognised and private sector funding and investments started pouring in. This was immediately reflected in India's performance in the London Olympics, with two silver and four bronze medals. 
Big corporates and brands like Reliance, JSW Group came forward with unique programs to support Indian athletes. At the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, the JSW Group supported athletes brought home 12 medals. The group is also credited for India's success at Tokyo Olympics, where Neeraj Chopra bagged gold in track and field segment. Um, the amount of money that's going into sport has has rise, like risen exponentially. Um, the the private players who came in, I mean, if you think about it, in 2010 there were only two players. If you look at today, there are about six different private companies that are that are working towards towards sport within India. Um, the the actual factor, which I think that is an important one. Um, is something that that it cannot be measured with the money. It's some it's a belief that the athletes now believe that they can actually succeed at the world stage. Obviously, money is one very essential component of it, but it's not the only component that you, that you have. I mean, if I give anybody a million dollars and say go become Olympic champion, that's not how really it works. So the the planning and and the growth of an athlete is a very long drawn out process that that requires meticulous planning and meticulous like kind of um, strategy as to what is the best thing forward and what is the best way forward for each athlete and that has to be tailor-made to each athlete that is there and and that's where the corporate sector really comes in. In the recent past there has also been greater international competitive exposure to Indian athletes with several world-class tournaments hosted at home like India Open Boxing Tournament and Indian Open Badminton Tournament. Experts say the rise of role models like Saina Nehwal, PV Sindhu, Neeraj Chopra, Geeta Bhogat have also inspired thousands of young Indians to take up various sports other than cricket. Despite massive strides, India's rankings at elite events reflect that we have a long way to go. China had bagged 26 gold medals in Rio Olympics. If both the government and the private sector can build on the foundations laid in the past few years, the country will see many more achievers in world sporting events. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. Yaar, don't ask me. Then I got in the stocks. With the stocks, I got bonds, insurance, gold. I'm very calm. You don't know how much money is. Now everyone knows. There are all of them. Five is an all-in-one account. Download Five is now. अब तो सबको पता है इन्वेस्टिंग मेड इजी एंड रिवॉर्डिंग विद फाइव पैसा इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल द रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली बिफोर इन्वेस्